finally managed to make up my mind and decide on the spot I'm going to use for a shelter here. Um, that tree where my gear's leaning up against is actually going to supply me with a lot of what I need. You can see underneath there, the bark's falling off. Um, I'm not sure exactly what kind of tree it is. I didn't really look too close, but that bark will, will take the place of the greenery that, I, that I'm not able to get at here for my roof. Um, I'm going to throw something together real quick. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I'm planning on keeping a fire, maintaining a fire all night, so I'll get something up to block the wind here, and uh, then I'm going to start gathering firewood, because I know how much firewood it takes to maintain a fire throughout the night, and I'm not a fan of going and looking for firewood at 4 o'clock in the morning when it starts to get really cold. So, I'll get that job handled, and uh, take from there. So this is it. This is the finished work of art. Not too big, not too small. That should do. And I scored this. It's a nice chunk of fur bark. All intact. Dusty and dirty, but bone dry. And it's actually almost got a warm feel to the touch, so I'm gonna put this down to protect me from the, the moss that's in the bottom of that shelter. It's my sleeping mat. It'll probably be all broken up by morning, but it'll help.
<laughs> you, can, you can let this guy grow for a little while yet before we consider him a food prospect. He can just be my camp buddy for now. So here's the setup. My kindling and gear. Firewood over here and firewood over there. Just threw together a quick little reflector. Some pretty rotten wood there. I think I'm pretty much set up, so now I'm going to take the time to go and do some foraging. I've been picking at these things. These fresh little green ends on the young fir trees around here. Just chew them and swallow them. They taste just fine. Probably not doing much for me, but makes me feel a little better. I'm going to go see if I can't find something a little more um, yummy. Some berries or something. So here's the uh, extent of my foraging so far. Got some yarrow. That's not for eating. I'm going to rub that on my arms and face for mosquitoes. Down by the river I found one dandelion. I took the whole thing and as much of the root as I could get out of the rock. Might try to roast that up for a coffee thing for the morning, see if that really works. And then I got these fireweed stalks. Uh, they're starting to flower, so the greens will probably be... Um, on the bitter side, but I'll steam them and I'll eat those flowers too. And the stalks, when you split them, they have some um, some pith in the middle of it, quite a bit actually, and it almost tastes like cucumber sort of thing. So I'll split those up and then I'm going to, of course, save the fibers and work on some cordage after it gets dark.